from Case Gymnasium on the campus of Boston University, it's Patriot League women's basketball. Tonight, the Terriers face off against the Riverhawks of UMass Lowell. Just about to 10 seconds on the shot clock. Esposito, the long three, fading back. What a shot. Esposito trains it. BU had 10 seconds. Lennard charging, trying to get under the basket. Can't. Benevin time finds Giannaris, and it's stolen by the Riverhawks. Janai Edwards lays it up for two. She's not going to get it. Rebound attempt on the buzzer. Goes in. We'll see if they're going to give those two points to Ivory Finley. Back up by six. It's 25-19. Six minutes to go, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Beneventine for three, and she drains it. Sophie Beneventine. Long pass here for Beneventine, two on one. She'll pass it back for Emily Esposito, wide open for three, and she gets it. Esposito with his second three of the game, and we've got ourselves a tie game, 25-25. Showing what she can do. And a steal there from the Terriers, pass going toward the corner. Emily Esposito right there for it. Alex Giannaris. Charging through, laying it up, fouled on the play, and she gets two. Esposito down under to the corner, Giannaris. Here's Johnson wide open, going for three, she's got it. Sydney Johnson for three, it looks like after is no good. We'll have to wait a little bit longer for her first career points. And on the next possession, Jelena Sanchez, it minimized the opportunities for Lowell. Johnson driving through, lays it up, and she's got double digits. 11 points so far here in the first half for Sydney Johnson. Let's see if BU's got another answer in them right away. Really was a tale of two quarters. If you want to talk about the scoring, Lowell won the first quarter 21 to 15. Great pass there under to Caitlin Weimer. Weimer gets two. That's the best kind of basketball you want to see. Both teams are shooting well and not giving an inch at every chance they can. Here is Sanchez with Weimer blocks the shot. Nice defense there from Caitlin Weimer. So steady with rebounding and Lowell has had the advantage but BU continuing to improve. Esposito for three, another! Her third of the game. Emily Esposito is having herself one heck of a season opener. The court ends up with Maggie Pina. Hands it off to Esposito, back to Pina. Pina for three, she's got it! Maggie Pina with her second three. Terriers are opening this one up big time. Tibbet thinks about going for three, finds Pina. Pina on the wing, 4-3, and she's got it. Needs all players who have taken the court tonight. But Johnson, Esposito, and Pina certainly doing their best to catch up as Weimer sends it under to Durant. Durant for two, she's got it. Can close it out with a couple of extra points. They're gonna burn out the rest of this clock time. Giannaris. Charging through, going up for it, and she's got it! What an end to the third quarter! Alex Giannaris, the freshman in her first game, up to four points. BU now takes a 17-point lead at the end of the third quarter. Five seconds on the shot clock, Christ with the shot, it's blocked. Pass goes to Riley Childs. Ball kept in play, ends up back with her, and Childs gets two more. What a second half for Rodriguez had not appeared in any games last season for the Riverhawks as that ball rolls its way to Caitlin Weimer, hands it out to the Terriers, Liz Sheen charging through and she's got it! What an effort from Liz Sheen! And Solis stays BU ball. Sophie Beneventine inbounds it this time to Liz Sheen. Sheen sends it to Beneventine, finds Lennard on the wing for three, she drains it! First points of the season for Annabelle Lennard. Other than 10 players contributing points. Down under to Durant. Durant finds a wide open Davenport for three. She drains it. First field goal for Lauren Davenport is a three pointer from the wing. Daniel Maltz here with BU senior Riley Childs. Riley, you really came to life in that second half, ending up with nine points and 10 rebounds in the game. What changed for you in, throughout the game? Um, you know, I think I just really focused on trying to help the team as much as I can, and I knew the best way I was going to get going was going to be able to get some rebounds. So I just tried to get physical and get active, and that's what happened. And I mean, it helped. So it was a huge team win. So I'm super excited. Absolutely, you guys beat the Riverhawks tonight, 76 to 47, and three Terriers in their debuts: Caitlin Weimer, Alex Giannaris, and Lauren Davenport getting their first points. What's it like seeing them pick up their first win tonight? You know, it's super exciting. I'm really proud of all three of them. We've just put in a lot of work in this preseason, and it shows. I mean, we didn't get to have a fall season last year, so I think everyone's just really excited, and I just can't wait to see where this momentum takes us. Riley, thanks so much. Thank you.
Daniel Moltz here with BU head coach Melissa Graves. Coach, you're now 1-0 as a Terrier. What's that feeling to get the first win here in the season opener? You know, it feels good just to have this under our belt. I think the confidence for the team it was big today. We had a couple scrimmages before, but to get one that counts um, really meant something. Obviously, we want to celebrate this win, and then we got to move on to the next one. It's a very long season. So told them celebrate the win tonight, and then I have the off day, and then we'll get ready for our next opponent. Your team shot 12 of 20 from behind the arc tonight. What did you like in seeing from your team tonight shooting threes? You know what? I like just the way they shared the ball. So we we tried to play inside out a little bit. Mayor and Caitlin had some good kickouts when they when they doubled down inside. Obviously, those two are hard to guard. So we were just catching ready to shoot. Really unselfish with the way we played, especially in the second half, just sharing the basketball. And then, you know, we just let it fly. So they, they shot it really well tonight. I know they were hyped. They had a lot of emotions playing in front of fans again. So it was just really nice to see that they got to play in front of fans and have that crowd and their parents and everything. Coach, thank you so much. Congratulations on the win. Thank you.